his people the power of the word of Christ is and that is the power that is going to work in your life today you cannot escape miracle today during this retreat as the word is coming forth and coming with power what a great work and a great miracle what great signs and wonders it will perform in every life Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person upholding all things by the word of his power think about that he holds the whole universe together the globe, the world, the earth, the stars, the moon, the sun, all the seas, the scientists have told us, the galaxies, is by the mighty word of his power. That's everything is held together. See that again. He is the brightness of the glory of God. And the express image of the divine personality. And he's upholding all things by the word of his power. If he's able to uphold all things on earth, all things in the stars, all things in the galaxies, all things everywhere by the word of his power, how then don't you think that your little sickness, your little blindness, your little deafness tonight is going away in Jesus' name? All that little habit of sinning. That you've tried and tried and tried and you couldn't overcome. Thank God you are here tonight. The Lord brought you here to set you free. And by the word of his power and the power of his word, he's setting you free tonight in Jesus' name. Well, we're not surprised that Christ has such power. After all, is King of kings and the Lord of lords. And look at what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, I'm reading there from verse 4. When you think of Jesus Christ as the greatest king ever, the highest king ever, the most mighty king ever, and the eternal king ever, the king of kings and the lord of lords, no king as powerful as him, no king as authoritative as him, no king as mighty as him. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And with him, all things are possible. When you think of him as this King of kings and Lord of lords, it's not surprising that his word carries authority and power. And Satan is afraid of the power of the word of Christ. And the demons are afraid of the power of the words of Christ. Demons tremble. Evil spirits tremble at the word of the power of the Lord. Why? Look at it. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Where the word of the king is. Tell me. That's how you are going to say it. Tell me with assurance. It says where the word of the king is. I want you to notice that word a king or even the ordinary king the king in his community what it means is if you have a king in a particular community a in that community a that king has power and authority his word carries authority his word is final if he says go is the king in that community but his word does not reach out beyond his community when you have a nation and you're the king over that nation. That king has word of authority and power in that nation. If it's, if it's a community that is a king, that's where the, the word, the power is limited. If it's a whole country, a nation, that's how his word is extended. When you think of the king of the universe, the king of heaven and earth, the king of angels and men, king of kings, Lord of Lords, in this place tonight, the word of Jesus has authority and power. When he says, be saved, you are saved. When he says, be healed, you are healed. When he says, be delivered, you are delivered. Yeah, it's power over men, 
is what has power over angels, is what has power over evil spirits, is what has power over the sea, is what has power over the sun, is what has power over the heavens, is what has power over the trees. Look at your Bible. Over the tree, when it speaks the word, final. Over the sea, peace be still, is what has power. Over the sea, on land, is what has power. Over the fish, is what has power. Therefore, we're talking about this Jesus Christ, whose power is unlimited, whose authority is unlimited. And when he speaks against a problem in your life tonight, thank God that problem is solved. I say, thank God that problem is solved. Because when the word of the king is, there is power. Look at verse 4. And you may say unto him, What doest thou? That means nobody can challenge the power of the king. And the power of the kings, of the king of kings, cannot be challenged by any problem, any infirmity, any sin, any sickness. Any spirit, that word is final tonight. Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. And I'm reading there from verse 10. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it to bring forth unto God, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be. In your life, so shall his word be. In your brain, so shall his word be. In your flesh that is having pain right now, so shall this word be. In your mind that is troubled, in turbulence, tortured, tormented, I speak the word of peace to that heart tonight. And so shall this word be in Jesus' name. It says in verse 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. It is confirmed already. Matthew chapter 24, the supernatural power in his word. Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Matthew 24, verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word. You have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your heart. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O oh Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week and the one we are going to listen to the next week by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.